here in the first game of a weekend series. It's the Warriors, it's the Weekings. It is live with Matejchuk and Dowheniak to start for the Warriors. Pucks drop, we're underway. Natalie Calvert on the far right wing. Calvert drop pass, he's got Korzak shot, SCORES! Off the rush, Ryder Korzak lights the lamp. one nothing. Moose Jaw leading. Well, Brandon thought they had a good scoring opportunity. Shipley goes down, takes a good slap shot, but goes over the net and comes outside the zone. Time of the goal, 39 seconds. Here's Ferkus, centers a pad save, rebound! They score! Harper Lollicker on the doorstep. 2-0 for the Warriors. Oh, some good puck movement, but starts below the goal line. Warriors cause a turnover, try to come out front of the net. Gets stopped briefly by the weekend goaltender. And then Lollicker right there for the rebound. Anderson. They got five forwards on the ice and score! Cross ice, Nate Danielson. It's a power play goal and the Wee Kings are to within one. Well, that was a perfect pass from almost the left-hand corner right in front to the back post. Just a tap in play, but what a nice pass. Knocked off the puck. It's deep and now moved inside. Polshikov turns and scores! The Weekings have erased that two-goal deficit as Zakhar Polshikov scores as we get back to even strength to tie the game up at two. The Warriors are unable to get that puck down the ice and Brandon takes advantage of a second opportunity. The gate was open for him. Here's the Weekings and they score. A questionable call has led to a power play goal for the Brandon Weekings. Luke Shipley will give them their first lead of the hockey game. Brandon, they got the lead. They've scored three unanswered, and now a fourth as Mason Ward with a wrist shot from the right line finds its way through, and all the Weekings, they got momentum here on the road. Uh. Seeing eye shot from the point, good traffic in front. Danielson pushing up the ice. Danielson, toe drag shot, pad save, rebound, they score! Rylan Rorsma continues the momentum for Brandon as they just keep on rolling, now up five to two. Boy, first shot, Connor Unger sees the two on one. A shot off his pads, gets kicked out. Brandon Lee. By number 11, Rylan Rorsema. They Assistant score again! Brett Hyland will extend his goal scoring streak as another Brandon Rush ends up in the back of the Moose Jaw Warrior net. It has gone from bad to worse for this Moose Jaw team. Stick Cannell's left circle, shot save made, and then McQueen trying to cash in a rebound. Puck still loose, and on the third chance, they score. Roger McQueen will get the Wheat Kings their seventh goal, and they keep on coming. There's a lot of standing around right in front of the Warrior net. That's Highland spinning left boards to the point, slap shot by Hammond, goes off a body, sharp angle, Anderson scores. As the Wheat Kings throw a little more salt on the Warrior wounds. Just unbelievable bounces, really. Just going right to the Weekings. Nice shot to try and get through. Gets blocked in front. Calvert, the far right wing with Korzak with him, makes the pass. Korzak tried to drop it back to Calvert on the right wing. Here's Richie back the other way. Trying to drop pass as they feed a man, they score. It's the first shot for Brown. First shot for Brandon. Evan Greening from Niverville, Manitoba. Will score his third of the season. Nine straight now for the Brandon Wheat Kings. On the far left wing for a trailing war. Looking for Anderson, they tap it inside. Nolan Ritchie will make it 10. And the Wheat Kings just keep on going. And the Wheat Kings come out. Polshikov for McQueen. Over to Anthony Wilson, scores.
Well, they all might as well get it tonight, and then that way tomorrow it's an on factor. Anthony Wilson will pick up the goal. Matichuk now, bottom right circle. Fergus looking for Korzak. Pad saved by Jones. That's a nice one in traffic there. Gallery trying to burst on that. Brandon Nett stopped by Jones. Brandon Wheat King scores six goals in that second period. They score 11 straight, erasing an early 2-0 deficit. And they go on to beat the Moose Jaw Warriors 11-2.